the Craft Cocktail. I'm Derek, that's Ian, and we're making the Tom Collins. Nice easy build-in glass cocktail. I love easy cocktails. 15 cocktails through this entire series. We get to the end and it's easy. You put it in a Collins glass. It's like a John Collins, which uses gin. A Tom Collins uses Old Tom Gin. This recipe is an ounce and a half of Old Tom Gin, one ounce of fresh lemon juice, a half ounce of simple syrup, two ounces of club soda, lemon wheel garnish, boom, you're done. You drink, you enjoy, that's a lot of ice. Yeah, we'll see if it fits. Oh, it's gonna fit. It's always gonna fit. It's gonna fit like... A glove? Like that. Uh, the cocktail is said to get us... So, here's the trick. In 1874, there was a joke, a hoax, called uh, the Tom Collins. It was actually the great Tom Collins hoax of 1874, where um, you went to one of your friends and you're like, dude, there's this guy, Tom Collins, at the bar and across the street, and he's been calling me names, blah, blah, blah. I need somebody to help me out, go get revenge. And he, get him to get in there, and he would go in and be like, where's Tom Collins? And the, the, the bartender would serve him a sour drink. So <laughs> okay. that, it, it, and it's documented, there's publications talking about this guy, Tom Collins. And, and, and at first, the publications were like, look, you know, seriously looking for Tom Collins. Then they realized it was a hoax, and they played into it, and they would be like, oh, uh, we, met, we happened to see Tom Collins at such and such a place in this place in the country. <laughs> what are you looking for? A spoon. A spoon? Yeah. Sling! Um, and so they, they kind of played into it. The idea then is that Jerry Thomas came along and said, hey, this is really neat and kind of cool. Let's, let's actually define the, the, the Tom Collins. And he defined it in his, in his book. But it could use whiskey, it could use brandy, it could use gin. It didn't really matter. Uh, then, Dave Wondrich, that was awesome. Dave Wondrich did, uh, did some, some historic science and suggestions and said that actually... This is a John Collins with Old Tom Gin. Boom. That's as easy as the story really goes. Like, it's really simple. It's simple. I, simple stories tend to stick. They do. So They're easy to remember. I'm can't gonna, screw them up. No. So I'm going to go with the easy story and say this is just, uh, this is, this is, uh, this is, uh. <laughs> they were laughing at me for doing the same thing earlier, so. There. That's my That's not my <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it's tall. Yeah. That's a refreshing drink. It's very... It's, like, oh, it's sour. Like most of the drink, gin cocktails, it's very... It's very summery, springy. Yeah. It's very refreshing. A little dry. It makes you want to keep drinking more. Yes, it I does. Mean, that's, that's the theme it's of the, these gin cocktails. Acidity. A lot of lemon and lime juice in these cocktails that just makes you want to keep going back for more. I do. I'm doing it right now. You are. I like the, the, the addition of Old Tom because Old Tom's a little bit smoother, a little uh, more approachable than a lot of the gins. It doesn't have the pine. It's all flavor like it's not juniper up in your grill. It's got a little bit more relaxed flavor it's to it. It's mellowed out quite a bit after aging in the barrel. Yeah, so you're, you're getting a, a completely different experience. Plus, it's not like this is a new product that people came out and said, oh, oh this is Old Tom. We're going to take gin and rest it. No, this is an old product design in an old cocktail recipe. Right. They both existed at around the same time, and you can enjoy them both ways. If you don't have Old Tom, you can just make a John Collins. It's going to be the same. Yeah. It's going to taste a little different, I'm sure. And just like Jim, it's probably a, uh, a descendant of Geneva. Right. So They're they're all going to come from the same kind of area of Holland, and then London, and then America. Everybody's got a gin now. Everybody's got gin. I, we had Denmark gin from Denmark. Yep, Norway. Swedish. Swedish gin. Swedish gin, yep. Like you, and, and it's good. It tastes kind of like that London dry style to it. But very herbal. Yeah. yeah. You, you can do all kinds of cool things with gin. That is what makes gin such a versatile experience. Use all of them in this drink, and you're going to get a different drink every time. Yeah. Now, you go to homecocktailmenu.com. You download the entire series that you just watched. If you haven't watched it all, download the book, ebook, and then taste along with us through the entire series. Download the vodka ebook, taste along with the whole series. And it's going to be a really short night. Long, or a long night. Or a long yeah. night. Either way. Long next day. Yeah. That's yeah. 30 cocktails total between the two books. So. Okay, this is two nights. Yeah. This is two nights. Affair. Yeah, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's it's a multi-weekend affair. Uh, it's like watching Braveheart. Uh, like, that's a one-sitting affair. That's true. How do you stop? How do you break that up? That's true. Because well, you don't pass out. Yeah. yeah. That's how we suggest you make the Tom Collins.